Hey there, everybody. Steve, the amateur historian. How y'all doing? Um, I'm okay. So we've been house sitting for my girlfriend's family for about the last two and a half days. And I was the last person to be home. And some reason I woke up today and all of a sudden I started doubting if I ever locked our front door. Now, what likely happened is I'm, I'm very, like, I never forget to lock doors. It was something that was, I used to forget it all the time as a kid. So it got imprinted into my mind. And I never forget to lock the door. The problem with that is once you become so consistent at never forgetting to do something like that, you sometimes stop paying attention when you do it. And then you don't remember if you did it or not. So I literally woke up, I'm exhausted. Well, exhausted-ish. And I was just like, I have to come home and check the apartment or it's gonna drive me nuts. Yeah, I remember. It's probably so hot in here. Man, really? It's not even that hot in here. We haven't had fans on, nothing. It's usually scalding. It's been like 90 some degrees. And it's not, trade off, it is not even that hot in here. Now, to avoid a repeat, I <laughs> move video, is that, this is not, this is not my key. There we go, door locked. So here's the deal, old Smokey. I'm gonna head over to the mall. You know, I'm over here, I made the trip, I might as well get some kind of content out of it. And uh, I've been, you know, thinking a lot recently about how Clackamas Town Center here has been one of the more successful malls in the area. And, you know, others slowly going by the wayside, but, you know, there's kind of this, this, almost unspoken between a lot of people uh, understanding that someday these malls just aren't going to be around anymore. And this is the most dangerous crossing ever. No joke, that crossing there, my girlfriend came a couple feet from getting mowed down by a couple of morons. And then as we were walking up to that intersection together, I jokingly, I was literally about to say, hold on, it's the dangerous intersection, the one where you almost died. And then right as that happened, a car whipped out right there and sideswiped a vehicle right in front of us. Clackamas is probably going to fare a lot better than other malls. It's certainly miles ahead of Mall 205 or Lloyd Center. Uh, so it's still going to be around for a while, I would presume. I'm not a mall expert but I have started seeing some of the signs of a a mall in in uh, besides the obvious signs like oh fewer people are going to the mall uh, you, you just but I mean more like seeing the signs of like maybe the begin you know the beginning of the end has started for this mall and I you know I might track with that more and more as time goes by especially as long as I live so close to here but I'm just going to venture into the mall, maybe get something to eat. But more than anything else, I'm going to check out some of the empty storefronts. Because this is a mall that's known for having substantially fewer, you know, empty storefronts than other malls. Again, you know, uh, Mall 205 barely has anything <laughs> left inside. Lloyd Center is having more and more empty storefronts. But this place used to, you know, most of the time if there was an empty storefront here, it was because a new business was coming in. And they like, you know bought out the space from somebody else or somebody else relocated as opposed to like shutting down or whatever and so i've noticed there's more empty storefronts here now that's not to say that all these places these businesses went under um you know some relocate some may still be closed due to covid related stuff especially with the recent like you know fourth spike we're having or whatever so i'm not claiming to know exactly why a given storefront is empty i'm just taking a look at the storefronts
almost like the Ben Bridge, something or other. <sighs> Joseph K over there took all their business. You see what? Oh yeah, you can still see the 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 stuffs. Just a lot of cases. No jewelry though. <laughs> oh my God, a case in a jewelry store. What's become of me? You can you can make out the Ben Bridge emblem and whatnot, and then whatever the heck it said underneath it. I think I don't think this is operational anymore. I think my girlfriend said she may have come here a few times, like this little coffee counter thing. There's another window. Get to see everything from a different perspective. Oh man, they have security camera on. <laughs> they see me. Why are you videoing inside of here? There's the Nordstrom one. Also vanished forever. Thank you to all our loyal customers. We are now closed. You can go downtown Portland. Oh, that's right, because yeah, there's the big Nordstrom in downtown right by, uh, I almost said Clackamas Town Center, that's where I am. Um, but yeah, there's a big uh, Nordstrom by Pioneer Courthouse Square, Washington Square. So there's, there's still options out there. Because I think there was a Nordstrom at um, Lloyd Center too, and I walked through it when me and my girlfriend were checking out the empty storefronts there, so. You know, two actual storefronts and a little mini thing there. Vanished. Oh. I didn't expect to stumble onto another one so quickly. I don't remember what was in here. <laughs> they have curtains up over it too so you can't see inside. But it's available. I didn't think there was gonna be another one right around the corner. Yeah, I don't, they've just like eradicated any evidence of what was here aside from this stuff. So I was already, I was already looking ahead up here at this storefront because I think this is where, I think this is where the Sears was. Of which there's, um, is it a Big Five or a Dick's Sporting Goods? I can't remember, but the bottom, yeah, it's a Dick's Sporting Goods. So the bottom level has a new business in there but the upper half I mean I presume is still empty so you got a little bit here yeah man you know life when the Sears is gone you know life is turned around and thank god this isn't being used COVID Emporium um, yeah there's a lot of stuff down here that's empty that had businesses you know again some some like I don't remember exactly was it here there's something this wasn't unique import I remember unique imports being towards one end of the mall like this um I'm probably wrong something was here seems like this Megan Wilson has got a monopoly on available spaces here but hey if you need a leasing need to lease a place at the mall there's your info <laughs> That's the first vibe I get. And he's got a, you know, this. You know? Oh, I guess it's, this is a little 80s. You know? Something to give some vibe to an empty empty front. <sighs> what was here? I can't make out what that says. It looks like there's like a big letter and then the rest of the stuff. No, no, no. There's the doorway's been all tiled off, unless it was always like that. But yeah, see, this is what I'm talking about. Like, it's, you know, you're still, it's still doing okay. This mall isn't, isn't, you know, dead yet. But a lot of, a lot of storefronts that had stuff. I mean, like, here's, like, I'm, I'm not sure what exactly was here, but this was obviously a little store something. The, uh, 
the Sears. This is all that's left of the Sears. And this is what really kills me, is there was a little convenience store in here that, you know, probably didn't do a lot of business. That's probably why it was closed. And I'm pretty, I know it was down at the end. I wanted to say it was really close to the Forever 21, which I actually think is that way. But I'm pretty sure, because I can't find the convenience store anymore. And it was in a corner like this next to one of the anchor stores. And like me and my roommate, like we came to the mall. He was looking for a jacket. And before we left, we hit it up. And it was just this little convenience store in a mall, which is nice. Because honestly, around here, there's not really a lot of convenience stores. You have to like find a gas station that hopefully has a Jackson's or an AMPM or something. And then right next to it, I don't, a, I know the Lens Crafters is there. I forget what was here. I want to say this was one of those like gaming things. But now it is nigh. Oh, they, oh, this was obviously, this was used for like vaccine stuff. Well, yeah, probably the business closed. And they were like, oh, well, here's a space that we can use. And there's just tables here. So yeah, this is probably just a place where people went to get their COVID shots. I don't know. It's very quiet on this side of the mall, which I actually like. Yeah, so this end is pretty dead. Nothing here, nothing there, half of something there. And then uh, two more nothings off over there. I'm gonna go downstairs, actually, so I can check stuff downstairs and then I'll wrap back around. an empty storefront or is this just a bland wall? I don't know. Oh no, it's just a wall by Ulta. Ugh, hate Ulta. I don't know, this outline looks familiar. I don't remember what was in here. Um... I painted over it, so I'll never know. Well, these are actually two storefronts next to each other that are both empty. Closed off. So you see, not a lot, but there's the occasional like empty storefront. Here's another one. It's actually a lot more than I thought. They make them so obscure looking like I don't know what was in here. I can't quite make that out. Oh, sorry. <laughs> ah. And there's just four holes and some handprints. So I don't, I don't know what was in here. But just looking at this, I'm, I feel like I'm starting to notice a lot more empty storefronts than I actually thought there were. I mean, we're at at least like 10 of them that I've seen now. That's a pretty good size one too. Doors shut off. Yeah, I wish I could remember more of what were in some of these random stores. I don't, just not ringing any bells. So I thought this was part of this store, but this store ends here. So this is, what was in here? This had to be a decent sized store. I don't rem I don't, I just don't, oh. Never mind, I'm seeing reflections and stuff. Yeah, I don't know. It's a mask sign. What this was, I don't remember. Looks like a pretty decent sized store. You know, those of you watching, you get, you know, if you're a clock of this town center nuts, You'll remember what we're in some of these places, because honestly, I don't even, this is like the only, probably the second time I've ever gone to the mall by myself. I don't remember a lot of stuff that's here, especially if I don't go into the stores personally, but yeah, see this, 
This store goes on for a while. And it ain't just the stores that, storefronts that are empty now. There's also a lot of the stores that are going to be like, who knows how much longer they're going to hold on for dear life. Case in point one, Macy's. And you know, the JCPenney down here is on life support practically. Be right back. So they're not closing. Just left the first bell. So there were, there were two more storefronts that at little storefronts that I could have stopped and checked out that were obviously not being used for lease. But each one of them had those guys standing there, those guys that like to, like to hustle you for stuff. They're just standing down the hallways with like bated breath waiting for someone to approach. So I was like, no, nah, I'm cutting through here. I ain't stopping to look at the, the empty storefronts. So yeah, downstairs, a little further down. Okay, now this could have also been the convenience store, which that makes more sense to me. Yeah, this could have definitely, because it, it was like this, it was in a corner. And I swear it was really close to Forever 21, which is literally the other side of this wall. You can even see like the Forever up there. So I think this is where the convenience store probably was. There just obviously happened to be a business on the other side. Let's walk through JCPenney and see how dormant it is. I swear there's more people exchanging or returning stuff than there are people actually buying stuff in here. I'm not done. I'm just gonna wrap around this big old place. Cause yeah, I entered way down over there. Now I'm on the, the east side of everything. But yeah, you saw JC Penny. It was a ghost town in there. Like, there was a few more people to the other side of the store from where I was, but there was like the like two-thirds of the store that I walked through, there was no one. <laughs> Man, Clackamas Town Center is going to ban me. They're going to be like, you are not good for business, sir. And I'm like, dude, sorry for capturing history as it's happening. I mean, we all know this is happening. It's not a knock on the mall. I like coming here. You know, I'm chill with it. I like some of the stores. But... You know, you can't deny the fact that these things are fading away. And I'm just capturing some of that while there's still, you know, more businesses here than there will be probably in like five years or whatever. Wow. <laughs> I recognize this. Pick these some bitches up all the time. did a full wrap around <laughs> I went outside and I'm like nah it's hot so I went all the way around I just came back in through the first floor of JC Penny over there <laughs> re-entered and uh ooh, look at Macy's there fading away and just for those interested in dark history when the Clackamas Town Center shooting happened the guy that did the shooting uh fled out this doorway he ultimately ended up outside and kind of surrounded and didn't know what to do uh, I mean, that's a dark story for another day, but... So it looks like probably the eastern half of the second floor 
is a stretch of the mall least affected by vacancies. Pretty much from the food court that way, which I'm passing the food court now, there's pretty much all of them have businesses. So my last objective, I wanna go outside and just see some of these spots from the outside looking in. I'm sure there's not a lot to see, but I wanna just see what things look like from the outside of the mall anyway. Nordstrom, Sears, that stuff. And here's the old Sears area. I took a video of this long time ago, not like right, like maybe within a couple weeks to a month after the actual Sears itself closed. I never go out this way. This is the second time in the last week I've gone out through these doors. So yeah, all this around here would have been the old Sears, which of course, Sears go the way of the dodo. Yeah, I think you used to, this used to be a primary entrance. And now it's sadly just a dirty, disgusting, filthy, locked off storefront. And I don't think you can really see inside because, not because it's blocked off, but because if you put your phone up to here, there's just another door through there. So like you can't really see inside or anything of that sort. But I mean, look at how, I mean, this is a decent sized storefront. I mean, it's an anchor, I get why it is, but anything to be seen here? I am up on the second floor too, so this is the part that's not being used. Oh man, yeah, it looks like a warehouse in here. It's like they stripped everything down. But yeah, look at, me, look at how big, and I, I went through here with my girlfriend um, or actually, we maybe have went to the one that was at Lloyd Center. Was there a Sears at Lloyd Center? I know we went, no, 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 it was here. We went through this um, Sears, like, still maybe about a year or so before it closed. And it was just astonishing how vacant, not just vacant in terms of customers. There was practically no stock there. There was... I saw like three employees. There was one employee, like a girl that looked like she was like 13. Um, and she was literally the only person on the whole second floor. And there was a lot of like electronics, tools, things that like a lot of people would like to steal. <clears throat> Excuse me. And there was just one person up there and she was not paying any damn attention probably because nobody ever comes here or I guess went here. It's a better way to put it. Uh, and so we're just standing there and we're just like, man, we literally could just shop. Like, obviously we didn't, but we could just probably shoplift. And even if like we set a sensor off when we left, like no one's gonna give a shit. Like who cares? This place is going under anyway. And I remember like we went up to like their, their like, you know, their little telephone. They had like a little register thing and a telephone there. And it was like, it looked like something out of the 80s. It was really dirty and it just, it looked like something that hadn't been replaced since like I would have been a child. It's already kind of starting to get that like abandoned urbexy look to it. You come around the back here, you've got the, I mean, this is one of the first signs of an abandoned place is when you start getting the really big grass creeping up through the concrete and this withering away bench that pro I assume probably only employees use. But hey, if you sit right here and some of these break, you might get a nail in the butt, a rusty nail in the butt. So that's nice, get your tetanus shot. <laughs> Word of advice from Steve the doctor. And some, but well, and this was the, wasn't this the automotive part or was the automotive part around the corner? I mean, there is like a garage door thing. Some of them beaten up some concrete. Uh, yeah, no, this is just the another couple storefronts. But like this is the primary one. <laughs> like, hey, Dix is in here now. Come visit us. Surprised they don't have like a banner or something here. It's like Dick's Sporting Goods, first floor. Don't come in here. Go in down there. 
yeah so here's another like garage door type thing so they did their automotive stuff in here do not enter huh yeah well i live my by my own rules i was gonna say i live my own life and i end up botching that whole thing up i don't even think you can really see i mean it's gonna be mostly if i can see anything it's gonna be mostly what i saw before just from a different angle they are really just leaving these out here to rot <laughs> But yeah, here's another another primary entryway to the old bastion of one-time glory. I don't know. I, I wonder if you can still see the. I guess. You can, yeah, you can still see like the kind of the holes on the concrete, kind of give you a little guidance as to where the letters were. Yeah, no, this sign was here, except there was more information on it when we went by here like a couple years ago. Now it's just the, just the, the general information you need to know. Sears is now closed. You think? I don't know, it looks open as hell to me. I think you go around here and eateries and whatnot and it starts looking more like a mall and not like a big abandoned store all by itself yeah here's where the california pizza kitchen dave and busta's sushi place a sleep mattress place oh, okay here we go so here's they have kind of fixed it up and made it look kind of nice here's the dick's sporting goods storefront i was like why are they not promoting themselves more I just need to go around the corner to see. But I'm at the same level. Oh, that's right. I went downstairs. I was at the bottom level. Just not all of this is being used, I guess. It all makes sense now. I totally forgot that as I was going around the Sears, I went downstairs. So I was at the first floor. I kept thinking I was at the second floor level, or the first floor level. No. I kept thinking I was at the second floor level, so how was I able to get into here at the first floor level? And then I remember I went downstairs, but that means that space down there was so big. Because I was looking in and there was parts that you couldn't see through, even on first floor. So I don't even know if they're using the whole entire space downstairs. And you think Sears had two of those spaces. The collapse of a of a god. It's really what Sears was. They were gods. I remember when Sears was like everything. Granted, I was like six at the time. 